With TCL, it seems like the hits just keep on coming. And I mean that in the good way, not in the sarcastic Tom Cruise from A Few Good Men way. Ahead of a big announcement, TCL held an exclusive briefing in New York, and we were there to get the details and see everything up close. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison. While most of the TCL news I'm about to share with you is very exciting, some of it could be considered a little confusing, so I made sure to ask the important question so I can break it all down for you very simply. Be sure to stick around to the end because there is some news about OD0, news that you have been asking for, so of course I'm excited to tell you about that as well. But first, if you're new around here, do me a favor and smash like if you find this video helpful, or flick dislike, I can take it. I'd also encourage you to subscribe because we are heading into big time TV news season, and I'll be sure to not only bring you the latest, but decipher all the cryptic language and explain why it matters, or in some cases, does not matter. But you won't get any of that if you don't subscribe, so please do. Thanks a ton, now, let's go. So the big news released today is that TCL is unleashing new five series and six series TVs that run Google TV. That's right, after all these years of leaning hard into Roku TV and really kind of being synonymous with Roku TV, TCL's most popular models will now also be available with the Google TV operating system inside. Now, there's more to these new Google TV models than just Google TV, and these new TCL TVs can do some things other Google TVs can't. I'm gonna show you all of that in a moment, but I have to take a moment to answer the questions that I'm willing to bet are on many of your minds right now. What does this mean for the Roku 5 Series and 6 Series? Are these new Google TVs replacements for the Roku 5 and 6 Series? Are they an upgrade to the current Roku 5 and 6 Series? I mean, that's what I was wondering anyway. So I asked, and here's the deal. The Roku 5 Series and 6 Series TVs aren't going anywhere. The R535 and R635, as you know them, still exist and will still be sold through the end of the year. Basically, TCL is taking those TVs, which were introduced and started selling in 2020, and continuing to sell them. They aren't getting retooled or otherwise upgraded, and they are definitely not getting replaced, technically. But are the new Google TV 5 Series and 6 Series TVs an upgrade? Well. Kind of, but not really. Let me explain. Besides the Google TV stuff, which I swear I'm getting to next, there are a few new things to talk about. One is that all but the 50 inch version of the five and six series TVs will have a new centralized positioning option for the feet. So you can place the feet wide or you can now place them closer to the center so that the TVs will fit on smaller stands. That's new and exclusive to the new Google TVs. Also, the 6 Series is gaining Dolby IQ. That's where a sensor on the front of the TV registers the brightness of a room and adjusts the Dolby Vision brightness curve so that you get the best picture quality no matter how bright or dark your room is. That's the promise anyway. And in my testing, I found it works pretty well. Also, both the 5 Series and 6 Series Google TVs get Dolby Atmos decoding. They're still stereo TVs, so any surround will be virtual, but Dolby Atmos is there. Also of note, TCL told me the Google TV 5 Series will be a little bit brighter than the Roku version. So are those upgrades in your mind? Well, how about this? The new Google TV 6 Series is getting two full-on HDMI 2.1 inputs. Yep, just like the new 8K 6 Series R648 I just reviewed, the Google TV 6 Series gets two HDMI 2.0 inputs and can do 4K 120 hertz now. So, what do you think? Are these upgraded TVs? Let me know down in the comments so we can talk about it. Also, keep sticking around because I have one more thought on how I think this Google TV 6 Series might be even better. Oh, and OD0. So with TCL now adding Google TV models, customers now have more choices. And this is big news for Google TV itself, but what do you get out of it? One thing you can do is set up themes and now your TV can be part of them. So say, hey, assistant, good morning. And your lamps can turn on, the TV tells you what time it is, what your commute is looking like, and then it can play your favorite 80s jams while you pop some toaster waffles and get down on your cold brew. Yes, I'm aware how disparate those two breakfast moves are. Anyway, you can also check all your Nest cams without having to so much as reach for an app, which I know is a big deal to those of you for whom security is a big deal. Also, also, and this is unique to TCL, those of you with kids will be happy to know that you can add kids profiles. 
Limit the time they spend watching TV, add parental controls to content, set schedules for watching, make it different for weekdays and weekends, and set a hard off point so they don't watch too late. Also, 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 you can now make Google Duo calls with your TCL TV. Now, TCL will happily sell you a full HD camera for your TV. It costs about 80 bucks, but you can really use pretty much any USB camera that you want to to turn your TCL TV into a full-on video calling powerhouse. See, I'm doing it right now. How meta is this? Now, all of this is available through the TV's own microphone, which you can turn off if you want, or through the TV remote, or through any Google Home or Google Nest speaker you may already own. So basically, this is Google's massive tech ecosystem all bundled into TCL's TVs, plus all the other bonuses I mentioned, and yeah, I think that's a pretty big deal. Not just because I'm a fan of Google TV, which I've been saying during my Sony TV reviews, but because as a business move, this is huge. Roku and Google TV are now on track to be the biggest, most dominant smart TV platforms in the US by a country mile. Not that Roku wasn't well on its way already. Plus, even though the Roku R635 and the Google TV R646, that's the model number by the way, they're supposed to have the same picture and sound quality, I wouldn't be surprised if the Google TV model ended up performing better. I'm just guessing right now, and I won't know for sure until I test one, but I will be testing one. I'll be looking for higher peak brightness and better backlight control because that's what I got in the R648 AK6 series TV I just reviewed. So maybe we'll see it in this R646 Google TV. We'll see. All right, so that's the drill on the new 5 series and 6 series Google TV models. There's a lot there, but now, I can't keep you waiting any longer. Here's the deal. TCL promises its OD0 TV is coming. It will be called the X9 in some markets or the X9 Pro in some other markets. It will be 85 inches, it will be 8K, and it will have the OD0 mini LED backlight technology, which basically sandwiches the mini LED backlighting system right up against the LCD panel for an incredibly thin profile and next level performance. This will be TCL's flagship TV. It will be the pinnacle of its XL lineup. It will be its biggest and baddest 8K mini LED TV. And I bet that even though this is a TCL we're talking about, it will be very expensive. But it is coming, says TCL. They'll be showing one off at the CDS show. They will not be talking price or pre-order dates, but all that is coming in 2021. And that confirmation feels encouraging, doesn't it? it does to me. So there you have it, everyone. New Google TVs with some upgrades, the R546 and R646. Also, OD0 is on its way. Do you find this as exciting as I do? Leave me a comment about that down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and here's two more videos I think you'll like.